Hello everyone, Anthony here. Um, I wanted to make these videos as sort of a follow along tutorial series on how I edit drums for my band's upcoming EP release. Um, in my last video, I explained how to group tracks and how to di use dynamic split to split the tracks at their transient um, using the kick and snare as the primary source for splitting. If you wanted to check out that video, I will leave it in the description below or you can find an annotation above. Um, in today's video, I'm just going to be continuing on where we left off um, and showing you how I quantize or slip edit or snap edit um, my tracks to the grid. Um, I have done quite a lot of this song already, uh, but I just picked this section because I feel like this section would be a good good for demonstrating. Yeah, if we take a look at this section here we can notice already just by looking at it there are quite a few parts that are off the grid and we want to fix that. Alright so there are three different ways we can go about editing these drums. We can quantize, we can use slip editing where we manually move around the the slip, the edits, or we can snap right to the grid with this magnet tool up here. Uh, to demonstrate first, I'm just going to show you how I use the snap. So I'm just going to make sure the magnet is enabled, snapping. And as I drag, you can see it just snaps right to the grid. I'm going to grab this, and because our tracks are grouped, I just grab it and it slides all of them to the left, like so. Right? So, like so. So, right, and I'm just snapping right to the grid. If you notice, if I take off this magnet here, it'll free, freely move about, okay? And if I was to spend each and every time just kind of zooming in and dragging this onto the grid, we would be here forever. So for most of them, we're just going to snap to the grid so but for this section here um, it would actually be probably more beneficial if we quantize the entire section because we see it's pretty pretty uniform across the board until we get to here where it kind of doubles in time so we're gonna go right until this last tom fill here um, now the toms we are gonna slip edit separately later so don't worry about those now. Right now we're just focusing on the kick and snare. So now that I have that that section highlighted, all the tracks, I'm going to right click. I'm going to put item processing and quantize item positions to the grid. I'm going to use eighth notes. I'm going to make sure move grouped items is selected. And I'm going to make sure these two are checked. Extend starts of items to overlap with earlier items by 5 milliseconds. I think the default setting is 30. Um, 30, I think, is a little bit too long for crossfade, but you know we have to fix our crossfades later on in the editing process anyways. But for now, I'm just going to keep it at 5 milliseconds. And then we press process. We press process, and we see everything has lined up onto the grid nicely. Now you'll notice, for instance here, we have an overlap from quantizing. And that's sometimes why I don't like quantizing as much, just because it creates these problems that you have to fix later. So you can just take off the magnet tool and slip this back. And you can slip the this edit back over that crossfade done and I'm not going to show you how I go through this all I'll clean this up later on my own time but just wanted to show you how I would quantize this whole section saves a little bit of time but then again you have to go back and just check to make sure those crossfades aren't you know cutting off the transient too early 
So for the next section, we're going to go back to slip editing, or sorry, snap editing. So you see here, this is a, a flam. I want the flam to be a l slightly early. Sounds a little more natural. Crossfade that. And we can check to uh, we can check our flam with the thirty second note grid setting as well. Usually, like to try to make it around a thirty second note if you're going to quantize the flam. If you want it a little bit fatter, I would leave more of a space. But usually 30 second notes pretty good for a flam. I have this tom hit here. And this is how I would uh, free, free form edit a tom like fill. You're going to press S to split. Just drag this back. Drag it on the grid and cross fade. And this one's lined up. I want to try to get these to be as smooth as possible. Fix that later. All right, so my fill's done. We listen to it back, starting from this one. section but I think that sort of demonstrates basically how to quantize to the grid how to slip edit and snap to the grid um, I hope you guys will find this informative and learn something from today if you guys do find anything that I am doing wrong or anything that you could add please put it in the comments I am still learning. I am not a professional. Like I said, I'm just making this video as sort of like a demonstrative purposes, wanted to follow along, um, something to maybe support uh, the EP release with my band, and uh, just putting some content, content out there for you guys. Uh, give me a like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. Oh,